can't believe he gets here tomorrow. Where does the time go? Seems like only yesterday they sent us a picture of our little guy frolicking in the Spanish Highlands. Aw, did you guys sponsor a kid? Sort of. We bought a ham. <laughs> Not just any ham. An 18-pound, acorn-fed jamón ibérico from España. Cost as much as a laptop. <laughs> cool use of money. Last summer, I vacationed in Hartford. So, what's the occasion? Excellent question. You see, when Alan and I attended Oxford together, we sojourned in Spain and enjoyed the most exquisite meal. Ever since, we've been trying to recreate that Epicurean perfection. So, in order to celebrate 40 years of friendship... Wait, is the story just starting? <laughs> yeah, no, I have other tables. Well, I hope you'll join us for Ham Day. <laughs> huh? I'd love to join you guys. Ooh, I'll whip up some of my famous sangria. Ooh, sangria. You know, perhaps we could also pair our delicacy with some cotton candy and Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> Staggering blow, Fraser. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Professor Cornwall, ah, Uncle. David. And a good ham day eve to you, David. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh, these are liability release forms. Mm -hmm. I'm spending the summer in Cameroon tagging wild chimpanzees. Isn't that just the teensiest bit way out of your comfort zone? With the credits I have, it was either a paid internship at an ice cream factory or dealing with hostile primates in Central Africa. Well, phew, that's obvious. I'm not an easy decision, I know. So I asked Professor Cornwall what he thought, and he said in that quirky British style of his, indubitably, it was his certainty that convinced me. Ah, oh, no, that's a charming anecdote for your obituary. <laughs> Another good one, Fraser. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, Dad. Well, at least David consulted someone. This one here chose to leave Harbor without talking to anybody. I'm fine, thanks for asking. And that's not true. I talked to a lot of people. Really? You didn't talk to me? Oh, nothing personal. I just didn't want to. But I did get some great advice from one of my professors. Really? Which one? Uh, I can't remember his name. Mm. It was so long ago. What did he say? Mm. It wasn't that it was anything that profound. It was just, he was so clear about it. I, I asked him if I should drop out, and he just simply said, indubitably. <laughs> You told Freddy to drop out of Harvard. I can tell you're upset. No. Upset? Why would I be upset? My son came to you for advice, and you simply shared your wisdom with him. Thank you. I am grateful. Ah, wonderful. Well, I'll be on my way. How dare you! <laughs> you told my son to drop out of Harvard and become a firefighter? Which I am entirely okay with. You could have told me that he was considering the noblest of professions, but instead, you hid from me this rash decision to become the kind of hero that just makes my heart swell with pride. I love you, Freddy. You go to hell, Alan. <laughs> <laughs>